Now in this video I just want to go over what the government of Guinea has been doing to fix their mining industry. Now this is a lesson I think to every African country because these kind of steps, now they're not sufficient yet but they are steps into the right direction. Now let me first show you what they have been doing and then we shall comment. Guinea is putting pressure on foreign mining firms to increase revenues from its bauxite and iron ore resources. This is no exception for Chinese companies as well. Around half of China's bauxite imports are from Guinea. Guinea President Mamadi Doumbouya said in a meeting with stakeholders in Conakry on April 10th, despite the mining boom in the bauxite sector, we have to admit that the expected revenues are below expectations. Dumbuya has given the companies until May to submit proposals and a timetable for constructing bauxite refineries. He also said to share revenues with the country equally. The Janta head also warns that foreign companies that violate the refinery construction deadlines will be penalized. With an estimated 7.4 billion tons, Guinea has the world's largest reserves of bauxite, a mineral used in the manufacture of aluminium, which is essential for the automotive and food industries. It is also the second largest producer. China imports about half of its bauxite needs from Guinea. However, the benefits to Guinea from bauxite mining and other abundant natural resources such as iron, gold and diamonds are notoriously disproportionate. Now this is a quite interesting situation because as we know there was a coup in Guinea in 2021. Now their ex-leader wasn't too good either but the man who took over the country is ex-French legionnaire. So when he was taking over the country I was like ah oh, another French puppet. But I have to say the things that they've been doing is far from things that puppets would do. Guinea wants to improve the amount of money they're making from their resources. Now the first thing they did is that they demanded more royalties, you know, larger share of the income that comes from the raw product. So that's the first thing that they did. And then they said, you know what, that's not even enough. What we actually want you to do is we want you to process everything in the country. That of course creates jobs, but also when you sell the raw products, it's totally different than when you see a processed product. So you are actually gaining more revenue for it. So what Guinea's government is saying, is that don't take the raw products, you actually have to process everything here and make the last product. Now that is something that every country in Africa is currently trying to do. Now, for example, Ghana, first they were selling coffee beans and then they started to process those coffee beans. And now what they want to do is they want to actually start selling chocolate and they've been successful at it. So this is the way forward. Don't just sell natural resources. Force these companies to produce something with it within the country. Don't allow people to just take your resources and take it to their own country where they make something of it, they sell it and they make a hundred times more money than we do. That is ridiculous. That's something that has to change. In times like this where commodity prices are through the roof, this is the golden opportunity to make sure that you're getting everything you can for your resources. Now me personally, I would wish that we could get rid of this situation where we have Chinese companies, French companies, Canadian companies mining everything. We need to have more African companies actually doing the mining. First of all, mine everything yourself. Don't sell the raw product. Produce something within your country and sell the end product. And of course, there's a lot of pressure that they should become a democratic country and give the rule back to the civilians. But as long as they're doing positive changes and positive things like this and the economy is improving, I wish them all the best. Now anyways, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.